recent recording of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Once again, I have had a ton of footage that I wanted to share with you guys, and I did so in the last video, but there was just so much left over that I could do a second video with even more of the best animations in the game. Really, I'm even thinking of just one skill that I think is one of the coolest looking ultimates in the game. But we'll get to that in just a bit here in this video. Before that, if you like these Sparking Zero videos and want to keep seeing them, definitely make sure to leave a like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. It shows them that you guys are messing with the sparking footage and gives us a chance to get more. But with that said, let's not waste any more time. I want to get back into this Sparking Zero footage and see what else we can find. For this TM, my goal was to cover some of the lesser seen characters in Jiro and Birder, and also I wanted to see if I could get a sick intro dialogue here. Where shall I bury you, Goku? Uh, and then he said, bro, this is not a Goku line, bro. I'm gonna turn you into scrap? Is crazy. But also I threw Z and Goku, so this is the Goku that can max out at Super Saiyan 3, because I feel like the early forms of Goku and Vegeta, we did not explore too, too much. I wanted to get more of that. Anyway, with the androids, let's get right into it. A big problem with the androids is they cannot charge key on their own. It's always been that way. Grab Clyde! Oh my God! When you get two grabs, I lost that one. Dang. I hate when I lose clashes like that. I was still learning. The reason I'm grabbing though is Jero's grab is one of his stronger tools. As you can see, I'm gonna try to land it a lot because it gives you key and a sizable amount of health back. Jero might be obnoxious online. The only thing stopping that right now though is that to move around at an early stage of knowledge, um, you're gonna use that key dash a lot and it is very, very punishing. It feels great, don't get me wrong, when you're actually like in fighting range, but to move around, sick eye beam by the way, that was cool. To move around, you use these uh, dash attacks and you drain key very quick. Look at the key and the health back though. Zero is unironically crazy. Bionic Punisher, no, that was my uh, blast stock ability. I'm just wasting resources. And you can see I tried to dash there and it cost a lot of key. And uh, mostly, I'm not even gonna lie, mostly what you're seeing here is a bad Android player trying to overcome the game. But this match was enough to make me realize that maybe I am not a Zero man. Even though he's cheap, the grab is pretty cheap. I think he's gonna be obnoxious online. Watch out for this character day one. Goku healing's a mean body shot. I'm just getting blown up. I know what's going through my head right now. I'm just trying to save up key, but I keep dashing because of my my muscle memory, bro. Dash in, try to land a grab. No, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm not doing any combo. Look at me trying to grab, bro. Oh my God, pathetic. Pathetic. I got four blast stocks. You can't do nothing with them. Maybe if I had a blast stock ability to give me, give, give me your health. Give me that key. Give me your health. You know, I'm also just realizing now, Jero's not gaining any key automatically. Maybe it's only his grab that he can get. I don't know. Wait. Wait, he's not gaining anything automatic. No wonder I was struggling, bro. It's only through attacks? Oh my goodness. I was dying, bro. <laughs> I switched him out. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this guy's ultimate. Burner, on the other hand, is a lot more fun. He's the same high-speed character that he was in the old Budokai Tenkaichi games, even though he is very, very clearly... Oh, also, A-Team was just hitting a random dance move. That was the only, like, bug I've seen with all of my time in the game. But look, same BT combos, bro. Look at me putting up the numbers. 28, make it 34. 8K, and I dropped it, too. I didn't even fully complete the combo. Burner's just that different. Max speed, dash at him. Oh, we got a dash clutch. This time I boost. I'm wiggling the stick. I, I spend all my key. I still lose? That's ridiculous. I actually don't know how I lost that one. Considering I boosted two, I, I'm sad. I'm just upset. We do have after image, though. I don't believe I used that. I think I was saving it up for my pose. I'm dashing back in, though. I'm not going to let that slide. It doesn't track. All right. So, Burner's dash does not track. I'm just spamming it now. Nah, you got me pissed, man. See, 18 gains key automatically. Jiro does not. That is interesting. All right. Dash back in for the 18th time, and it lands. Oh, my goodness. Turns out if you do the same thing seven times, it will work eventually. Uh, I don't know. Burner's just kind of saucy, man. Uh, me, personally, I'm waiting for Jace. But hit the special fighting pose. You get max key instantaneously for the cost of three blast stocks. Really, really good in this game. Now we just got to hit the purple comet attack, of course. Jump this guy. Yeah, that's my favorite space Australian, bro. That's Jice. This has got to be one of the most iconic tags. Look at the punch. Oh, too iconic. I hate that all of this is happening underwater because that's where I landed the attack. But I'd be lying if I said the purple comet didn't look even better because of it. Now, with only 60 seconds left, I've definitely wasted most of my time in this match. So I think I just stick it out with Birder. No, no, I, I do go into ZN Goku. But I'm not sure. Oh, this character's saucy. Meteor Smash. Dash it. 
I should have just deleted this footage, man. I, I should have deleted this footage. I'm pissing myself off. Bro, this was not my best showing, bro. And those sound Look at the key blast deflection, though. It looks so good in this game. Standard combo. Decent. Gotta chase that, though. Launch up. Ah, uh, it dropped, but that's fine. It dropped. Damn, I just gave up. I went for... I bet I missed this, bro. I bet he's too close. I bet I missed this. The spirit bomb! <laughs> it does look... Good. Yeah, okay. I, I play this character again. Don't worry. I, I remember why now. It's because I was so depressed. <laughs> I was so depressed. I'm just trying to do any basic combo now, bro. Key wave, get him off me, dash behind. Oh my god, I was so depressed. We still get the win animation, though. Hit him with the thumbs up. Oh, that is crazy. So good win pose, but let's get into the next match. Let's let's get that one out of, out of my sight. Okay, to make it up, we are back with this time leading with Goku mid. So this is actually mid Goku. This is the one that caps out as Super Saiyan and is also on the team though. Put him up against Frieza, see if we can get some unique dialogue. And you know, maybe, but I feel like Frieza would say that to about everybody. But then the match begins. So really what I want to focus on is I tried to stay. Oh my God, Kaioken Kamehameha, best looking move in the game. Kaioken looks so good in this game. You can see the beam kind of clash with death beam, so we take no damage. Uh, but yes, I wanted to focus on using the blast stock ability, give me your energy, because it differs throughout the Budokai Tenkaichi series. In BT2, Kaioken looks so good. Kaioken rush, but it's another straight line. Um, in BT2, you could actually see the spirit bomb forming on the map when you use this ability, which is really cool. Oh, clash encounter. Boost, wiggle the sticks. Please tell me I win this one. I do. I'm never losing two times in a row. All right, unfortunate. Blink that. Oh, I'm nuts. Oh, I'm making it up. Bro, I was popping off. I'm not about to lose all 30 minutes on the machine, bro. Oh, I got grabbed. Oh, don't shoot me. Come on, man. Guys, please like the video, guys. Please like the video. I know we're not impressed by the gameplay right now. Please like the video so Bandai gives me a chance. I can't live like this. Kyle can rush. Finally, it hits. Does the animation look good? I think so, bro. Kyle, I, but I'm a Kyle can bias. Bro, Kyle can's too cool. Look at that. Too insane. Give me your energy right here. Yep, give me your energy. So that is one stack of give me your energy, which is pretty nice. We will take that. I think I want to go immediately into spirit bomb though. I'm going to miss it again. Oh no, dude. Oh no, I'm way too close. I thought it would track. Oh no, it's going to miss. One stack of give me your energy spirit bomb. Don't worry. I do get off another one, but this is how it looks. You see the weight presses down on Goku. He throws it. Guys, don't use that move close to your opponent, guys. Save yourselves. Save yourselves. I know I was pissed. I I, I was probably so pissed. Decent combo, but I, I, I mess up. Give me your energy. So that's one stack. Again, we do do it twice. It does land. I can confirm that, even though I am sad right now. Death beam through the back of the chest. Oh, give me your energy. Stack number two. Let me get this spirit bomb off, boo. Okay, I, oh, he's gonna kill me. Dodge that. Weave, weave, Goku, fly. Oh, no. No, no, no. Key blast, key blast. Keep him away. One... Beam Kamehameha. Just to keep him scared. Keep him scared. Keep him honest. Let me get that ultimate back up, though. I got two stacks. I wish I could have gotten the third, but there's no time. Share your energy with me for Spirit Bomb. It's gotten even heavier. Double the stacks. Double the weight. And it does land. Majin Buu overwhelmed with the Spirit Bomb. Almost dies. 25 da 25k. That's two and a half bars. Now we're just going into Yamcha, because come on. I, I didn't get to use enough Yamcha last time. Pretty standard move set for Yamcha, though. Honestly, not much has changed. Uh, just the Wolf Fang Fist, which I do want to see again, so why not? Hit him with the Wolf Fang Fist. Probably one of the better looking Wolf Fang Fist in game history. I, I like that the Wolf pops up with its own 3D model. That That is good stuff right there. But Majin Buu is down. I forget if I switch into anybody else. You know, I hit a beam clash with Vegeta. In the first episode of Sparking Zero that we did, I definitely hit a beam clash as Vegeta against Yamcha. I was trying to recreate that magic here. Vegeta running. Yamcha with the chase down. Key wave combo. Step up. I missed. Oh my gosh, bro. Why am I still out here with Yamcha? I will never understand my decision. Flip around. Dash behind for the mix-up. Oh, close. Dash to the side. This is what I'm talking about. The combat is so good when you're like right in front of your opponent. It just feels amazing. No vanish though. Vegeta's going to let it go full screen again. Am I going to hit a power up to the very limit? Is that what I was waiting for? No, it's go It's Goku versus Vegeta time. This is mid Goku, I believe. Yes. No, no. End of Z Goku early. So this is what I wanted to see earlier against Frieza. Standard combo. Nice, decent. Dance off his head. 7k damage. Dash attack. Launch him up into the street light. He took the he took the street light off of it. That was sick. Oh wow. Oh multiple beam attack. All right, we're fine. Maybe I go for meteor smash here. I'm not sure. Oh no way. 
Oh, I thought he was... I see. I, he passed me. Thought he was doing a beam attack, too. I tried to match him. Wanted a Goku Vegeta Key Blast to uh, definitely save it. Super Spear Bomb. Hold this, Vegeta. Oh, no. He's going to get done in like Kid Buu. It's over. Vegeta, get out of there. Oh, no. You were incredible. Let's rematch someday. This is the end of the series, Spear Bomb. And it looks amazing. Whoo. That was sick. Vegeta is gone. Goku wins again. And then I think we hit the thumbs up for the second time. So I kind of botched it. But hey, at least we got to see the Super Spirit Bomb and the normal Spirit Bomb in the end. Let me make it up to you fellas by showing you one of the greatest characters in the game so far. Once again, I was doing an all Android team. I think this is the same. Yep, where shall I bury you, Goku? This is, again, footage off my phone. This is Super Saiyan Goku from End. So, uh... Not exactly mid. This is the Goku that would go against Cell, stuff like that. And this is good stuff right here. You're going to see some of the best abilities. We get off me, Jiro. You're just a bunch of scrap metal. Tell me, have you ever thought about facing a Super Saiyan? Doing some standard defense. Oh, Jiro's defense went up, so he actually gets super armor. Kind of crazy ability. I think for one bar, two. Nice grab. Trying to get a grab class. Spike him into the ground. I'm trying to do a grab class so bad. You can see even the Jiro AI is like programmed to go for grabs because it is so crazy. So that is exactly why he was doing that before. I beam, we're too far away, so we're fine. I might hit Saiyan Spear here. No, standard Super Kamehameha. Charge it for a long time. Miss. Wow, great. Break through the guard. Great charge up. No defense allowed. Kick this guy away. Uh, I'm not sure what this ability is. Oh, it's just his boost. Okay, fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Chase him down. He's got no more defense boost. Get him with another grab. It's time to kick in Saiyan Spirit for sure, right? Ugh. Oh, no. Okay, multiple key blast attack. I got to stop trying to predict when I use Saiyan Spirit. Clearly, I, I did not care. So that was super energy wave combo. Now, this is one of the craziest moves in the game. The instant transmission stuff is too sick. I'll prove it right now. Standard beam combo, and it's time. Oh, look at this. Look at this animation. Oh, look at it. Wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> he teleports to the ground in their face and launches them upward. That was crazy. Say in spirit. Don't hold back. Three blast stocks down. I'm taking out all the androids with just Goku. Oh, I'm switching. I'm switching to Super Saiyan 2, that is. This is to go even further beyond. Nice. Now we have it as in just a normal skill. And here it is as a normal skill. Fake it. Boom, interface. I missed. But that move looks so sick. This is definitely one of my favorite variations of Goku in the game. I like, the, personally, I like the ultimate a little more, but it is pretty fun to use that uh, Super Saiyan 2 one. This is the other move, Meteor Crash. We might get a clash here, actually. No, we don't. Meteor Crash, you just kind of take their head off. Sick camera angle, but that's a bit. Oh, wait. I forgot you get the Rasengan off that. I forget that that added bonus every time. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so on this version of Goku, you do have instant transmission. I used it right there as a blast stock ability. No beam. Hold the Kamehameha. And you also get full power charge to get your ultimate right away. So pretty decent loadout of skills as well. Another grab. Spike him to the ground. Who cares? I forget what the ultimate is on this Goku. If I'm being real, what is Super Saiyan 2 Goku's ultimate? Oh, look at the dash around. This game's too sick. Once you get in that range of combat, like I said earlier, the game is just simply too good. Big combos on 18, just tossing them around. Full power right there. That's the aura is so cool. Oh, it's just Super Kamehameha. Lame. But maybe it looks cooler than I remember. Just a beam ultimate for Super Saiyan 2 Z, Go uh, Z N Goku. Let's just launch it right now. Oh, that was instant transmission. That's my bad. That's a misclick. That is a miss input, bro. Oh, my God. I don't even do the Super Kamehameha. All right. Oh, I just wanted to go straight to the Super Saiyan 3. Get the transformation to Super Saiyan 3. I showed this in my very first video on the game. If you want to see more on Super Saiyan 3 Goku, definitely go check out my first video. I don't think we cover what he does here a lot. I mostly just wanted to fight, I think. 17 kind of moving. Let's go with the basic combo. Nope. Let me show 17 what's up. Dance on his forehead. A lot of forehead to play with. Ugh, launch him in the air. Almost a 10k damage already. Super Saiyan 3 buff. This version of Goku has similar blast abilities to the Super Saiyan 2 variation. So not much changes there. I believe I was going for his grab there. I'm trying to just see all the animations, you know. I'm trying I'm trying to see a bit of everything. Dash. Double dash. Oh my god, he just pelted me into the building, bro. The ceiling glass. All right, Goku's dead. Here's Frieza. So, I actually don't know if I can confirm this or not. Death Crash ability. But somebody said this wasn't the exact same build we played on because they added in a white background to Golden Frieza's transformation. I do perform it in this video, although I'm not sure if I remember the white background not being there. You'll have to let me know if this is a new animation, but we'll see it when we come to it. 17 in battle damage looks pretty sick. 
Frieza. We're just using that uh, transformation ability. And here's where we go golden. This is the new animation parentheses. White background, big pose. You'll have to let me know if that's different or not. I can't remember. I may be getting gaslit. Decent combo with Golden Frieza. Dance off the head. Multiple key blasts. Big combos. Multiple key blasts again. Trying to use more of those key blasts in combo. 20 hits. Let me get 23 for a bar of health and some change. And a follow-up. Golden Frieza doing a nasty combo to end it. And we get a sick pose as well. Let's get into the next video. Why not? You know what? Let me just meter burn all my coolest stuff. We're seeing another one of the coolest animations in the build. And that animation is the bros Kamehameha. It was too good not to check out. Ah. Gohan also has a pretty sick intro. Oh my god, the focus. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I thought the video was about to be garbage. I was gonna I was gonna be depressed. But here's Gohan. So Standard moveset, I'm not gonna lie, he's not the most exciting character just in terms of like base abilities and what he has, but we might be able to get a decent combo here off on Majin Buu using more key blast. I found that you could pretty much get no penalty for that while also racking up a lot of damage. It seems pretty free, but obviously it costs key, so how free is it? Explosive, oh, multiple key attack. All right, we'll take it. That was full power energy blast. Is Buu doing something? Oh my God, he's just charging. All right, here, explosive cannon. Big, big damage, hard to dodge unless you're full screen away. Now we just get away from Boo. He's kind of messing up. We do have explosive wave. Do I, I? I might let an explosive wave rip, but I think I already checked it with Vegeta. Here it is. When I saw it said Bros Comet, I mean, I, I freaked out. Also, you can use an ability and still keep ultimate. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I was popping off right here, dude. I was going crazy. Oh, look at Goten. Hey. Oh my God. It's so sick amazing huge impact as well and then goku just spawns in right there i'm not gonna lie i thought that was goten i thought goten was gonna fight with me I, I was i was hyping myself up gohan all that we have left again pretty much keeps the explosive cannon only now it's super explosive cannon and super explosive flash strike so again pretty generic moves all things considered but uh i mean the ultimates on gohan are what you're really here for right like the bros combat me out was amazing decent combos cooking a little bit Got the gi on. Oh, trade with me. Trade with me. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm up against the wall. Please. But, oh, my God. Look at how hard he put me in the dirt. <laughs> my God. Watch the beam. Oh, there's no shot. I should have dodged that. Jumped away and everything. I still got caught. Trying to fly away. We have full power. Can we get a, a little space to use full power? Maybe not. We got to dash away. Oh, don't get hit from behind, though. You're taking extra damage. Dash behind again. We are really moving now. Here we go. Max power right now. Just a standard super combat out, but we have to hit it. Moving around, staying safe, dash in. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on, ho hold on, hold on. Blink that! Did you see the blink? That was insane. He's gonna fall though, so we can't launch our beam just yet. We only have a little bit of time left though. Hit the super combat out. Good pose, pose up, and it lands. Standard beam, standard impact, nothing too crazy, but it's simple, it's elegant, it's effective. And then I think I just have full power left. Oh, blink that. I'm not getting hit. And then we just come in with Beerus to finish it off. Beerus kind of a combo fiend in this game. He kind of just does damage for free. Big fan of that, of course. You know, we got we got to appreciate a manga accurate Beerus here. But now that B Blue Vegeta is up against him, I mean, really, this is going to be pretty accurate. Uh, we're just going to be schooling me. Is this the combo? Hold on. Oh, wow. This is the combo. Reset with the headbutt. Turn him around. Turn him back around. Keep it up. 15K for 26 hits. And I didn't even add any key blast abilities there. So really, really rough day for Vegeta there. Dash around with Beerus. Oh my God. We have the super sphere of destruction. Nothing too crazy. I think right now I was trying to bait out like a beam clash to make it uh, a, a little cooler because for all intents and purposes, it's just a supernova, right? I mean, I'm not sure how they're going to differentiate it, uh, but here it is. I think Beerus's does land, I believe. Beerus's doesn't come from directly above. Oh no, it does. So does this miss? I'm sick. I, you know, I learned a lot of things with my time with the game, but clearly I never learned that orb ultimates just don't hit from that range. <laughs> As you'll see with this blast abilities, if you've been taking a look, nice grab. Uh, Verdict of Destruction just gives you bu uh, buffs and uh, raises you to ultimate right away. That was Verdict of Destruction. Um, allows you to go into your big combos, stuff like that, yada, yada. We can just pretty much play the game. I think Vegeta's pretty much cooked. Blink it, hit a grab, and you're done, buddy. Big combo to finish it off. Go ahead, hold this ultimate for me. Go ahead, hold this. This is the end for you. Vegeta catches it. Add a little beam with the finger. And he's cooked. That's the end. We're going to get to see Beerus' win animation. 
but I think that's about all the footage I have. I'll rummage around here and do an outro if there's not, but that may be the end. You know I was just lying to you guys. You guys supported the Sparking Zero video so much. I got to show some appreciation by hitting you with one more exclusive gameplay recording. This is Goku Z mid. So this is the original Super Saiyan transformation. You can tell because this guy is angry. He is pissed. No need to hold back on me, TN. Um, and this character is also really, really cool. Decent combos. We see we get the gut punch there. Key blast to add on a little damage. Dash in with the key wave again. Solid AK, but we could have done better. You see me throwing that headbutt because I was trying to chain that. We got him up against the vending machine. He need a drink. He need a dollar fifty. He needs to get that inflate. Oh, wait. I think I just get shot here. I tried. I, I don't know if it would have beam clashed with a super combat out, but I had to try. The end's going to charge in the background. I was looking to try out. Now I'm angry. Uh, but first, we got to get this meteor smash. Dive in with the kick. Oh, we're cooked. We're cooked. No, we're not. No, we're not. Tien is not outspeeding me. Speed diff. Ah. One more punch. Just for good measure. Oh, my God. He almost hit the building. He had to, he had to hit the brakes. Don't already blink that. Whoo. I'm out. Now I'm angry. Max power. Uh, so angry Kamehameha does look really good. Again, Z mid Goku, kind of a saucy character, all things considered. Look at this animation. I wish we had sound effects, guys. I'd probably let the sound play, but Tien just gets wiped out of the... <laughs> Tien gets wiped out along with that apartment building he was fighting so hard for anyway. Now we are going into God Goku, another really cool looking character that I just wanted to see a little more of. There's pretty good footage on him, uh, but obviously we wanted to see a little bit more Key Wave. Uh, this is, I think, a match when I was really getting comfortable with the idea of combos and when to add Key Blast. So, ah, I almost had him if he didn't use Explosive Way with the reset. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and middle with the God Bind. Yeah, the Rasengan, not actually the God Bind. I think I tried that and missed it. God Bind is a blast ability for two. That's like a little stun. What we used was God Impact. We're going for max, though. We want the Kamehameha. Here, hold this. The God Kamehameha. Another beam ultimate. This one does have a little more sauce, though. Got that lightning. And we miss. So maybe... Ugh. Unfortunate, but it's still a good. Oh, God Vegeta and God Goku dashing around each other. Now this is a fight. This is interesting. Dance off his head. Love that. Sweep the leg. Turn him around. Oh, no. That could have been a huge combo. We'll get it. Break the guard. Ah, explosive. So powerful, man. That was Godbind, but I missed it. So that was a little bit of a stun. I'm not sure how long the projectile is, if it can go full screen or not, if they need to be up close. But it's uh, it's tough. Get another sweep on Vegeta. Uh, turn him around. Get some Key Blast in there, possibly. No, we, we, he vanishes it. Most of the combos are vanishable if you have a, a decent enough setup here. Dash away. Oh, we'll take a sweep. He's behind us. Let's go. Shenron Aura. Had to throw that in there, but now he's just back to jumping me. Oh, here's his move. Do I get to dodge it or no? No, no blocks. God, Vegeta opens me up with the cheap ability. It looks sick, though. I can't hate. I really can't. And then a God Kamehameha to seal the deal. I actually like the way the, the beginner one looks even better. And now we're going to finish things off with Piccolo. Great character. It's just, I feel like a lot of people aren't really hyped on him because it's early Piccolo, you know? This is, this is beginner Z Piccolo. They don't list him as such, but it's pretty much that way. So we've got Paralyzed Beam All Out, Explosive Demon Wave, and Explosive Breath Cannon. But I'm more interested in just seeing this Special Beam Cannon. I want to hit the Burst Combo. I want to do some stuff, hit a Special Beam, and get out of here. Dash up, Quick Dash behind him. We could have easily just killed this guy with the Burst Combo, man. That was crazy. But he had to knock us away. He wants to die to the Special Beam Cannon. Like his father and uncle before him. And he's gone. <laughs> you can see it did like bounce off the ground though. Did, did y'all see that? Can we get a replay on that and bounce off the ground? Shout out to Piccolo for having a sick outro. Pretty standard stuff. We'll take it. And that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support on these Sparking videos. It really makes it worth it. I mean, just the game is so sick. It's worth it anyway, honestly. But you guys supporting it does give us a chance to get out there, maybe record even more footage. And who knows, maybe when the game comes out, they'll let us record like DLC or give first looks at that early. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. Bandai, if you're listening, uh, I want to play the game. Thank you. But yes, thank you guys again. I am super stoked for Sparking Zero. I can't wait for you all to play it. And I look forward to playing it online with you guys when the game does release. Subscribe, stick around. I'll see you in the next video.